everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about five reasons why traditional marriage might not be for you. I wanted to talk about traditional marriages for a while, uh, although they might work for some people, for as we say most of the people, because most of the people on this planet have traditional marriages, they might not work for you. If you're watching this video I can assume that you're here uh, wondering why does it not work for you. I can tell you there's a lot of people around the globe, especially in the last hundred or so years, asking themselves the same question or worse have been judging themselves based on their inability to lead a traditional marriage. Um, I can assure you that everything in life requires revising, especially every decade or so, because the world is changing so rapidly and it is out of the question whether we should still follow the tradition up to the book or we should, you know, check the world out and see for ourselves what works and what doesn't. Uh, the worst thing which you can do is make yourself fit into something that's not cut for you. And it's like wearing a wrong shoe size. If you take the shoes that are the wrong shoe size, if they're too small or too big, it's going to be very uncomfortable for you to walk in. And you might even try to pretend as if everything is alright, but imagine wearing the wrong shoe size for a couple of years. You cannot do so without things happening to you, you know, without hurting yourself or just basically looking stupid up to the world around you. I think that finding what works for you is much more important than fitting into the society, especially because we're not on this planet to follow other people's dreams and purposes, but rather to look what's right for us. And to kind of, if you're religious, if you're spiritual, like just to fulfill our soul's needs and uh, why we're here on this planet at all. So let's move to the five reasons why traditional marriage might not be cut for you. The first one is that traditional marriage is cut only for a woman and a man exclusively. When the traditional marriage was formed and the sort of written and unwritten rules have been made, it was exclusively made for a man and for a woman. It hasn't been made for a woman or a woman. It hasn't been made for a man and a man. It hasn't been made for everything else in between. It hasn't been made for trans women, for trans men. And in a certain way, it's like you can really feel lost amongst all these rules that don't apply to you. In the time when traditional marriage was shaping, um, being trans, gay or whatever, uh, it was practically illegal and it still is in some countries and in others it's still frowned upon. Um, the fact that gay marriage shaped way way later, um, it's one of the reasons why gay marriages tend to be more liberal and more open because they are not based on the same traditional laws, unwritten and written, that have been made in heterosexual marriages. And in gay communities, polyamory and kink have been more acceptable and have shown much more acceptance uh, than the heterosexual community. Number two, traditional marriage has been shaped by religion. Uh, it all depends where you are born at, but whether if that is Christianity, is Judaism, Islam or anything else, the fact is the traditional marriage and the wedding vows have been based on religion. It's no wonder that it's still very important to some females and to some men to form the marriage ceremony in the church. And the church has basically made up this invisible and visible rules about what a traditional marriage is and what love is and what fidelity is and whatever is important and how to have a good marriage. I still know that my brother, before he was getting married in the church, he had to go with his wife to a priest and the priest was kind of trying to explain them uh, how a marriage should look like a man that was never married. Um, it is kind of weird. It would make more sense if you would go to a therapist or something, someone more qualified to explain to you how a marriage should look like. And much has changed. Uh, we have to have in mind that some rules were there for a reason in, in the past, but that reason does not exist anymore in the modern world. Like ages ago, uh, sex before marriage was a way to make sure 
that the child is yours and that a wife that you're taking is uh, not pregnant and hasn't been sleeping with someone else. There were other nasty things that were like a form of tradition, like checking the sheets on the first uh, wedding night to see if your bride was a virgin. Virginity was held up very important marriage-wise and religion-wise as well, but it wasn't about exclusivity. It was about a man making sure that the progeny is truly his and that all the property he has he is leaving to this his child not some other's man uh, child. Sex before marriage was a way to disgrace your family in case you get pregnant, of course, or someone else figures it out. Ages ago when the first marriages were uh, made on the same rules that we should uh, oblige today women weren't allowed to vote even <laughs> and now we're trying to use the same rules um to 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 make our own modern traditional marriages um how can this work you might ask yourself and i am asking myself as well number three you might not be monogamous, uh, you can be so many other things amongst polyamorous or just, you know, like a person that is not able to imagine even to spend the whole life with one person or just to sleep with one person and the entire world has made you feel bad for it. But I'm telling you, it doesn't have to be bad. It all depends whether you are going to show appreciation to other people around you and not pretend that you are something that you are not and then get involved in relationships where you can't really keep up with the promises you're making. So if you are honest to people, you might find people that are fine with, uh, with your needs. Uh, being polyamorous is the same as being homosexual. It's a thing that you cannot cure or change. If you are not cut up for monogamy, you shouldn't push yourself to be. And in that scenario, you're probably going to hurt more people than if you're being honest with who you are. I know there's people out there that think this is unnatural, but I assure you that monogamy wasn't here from the start. Um, if you're polyamorous, uh, monogamy might be like that wrong shoe size that I was talking about. And um, people think that monogamy uh, is a new thing, and is the permanent thing, is the only thing. But there are some books that have been studying uh, history of human uh, relationships and they have found out that polyamory was more of a thing in the past than uh, monogamy. If you want to learn more about that, I suggest you read the book uh, Sex at Dawn uh, by Christopher Ryan and Cecilia Jetta. It will show you the original human relationships and how they looked like. And you will see actually how monogamy found its way into the human culture and it has become the only thing. Number four, you might think that traditional marriage is not for you, but it's only that you have changed ever since you got married. So I was talking about this uh, before and I will talk about this for a long time because it's one thing that people don't understand is when you get married, if you're in your 20s or 30s or whatever, like 20 years after, you can't expect that you're gonna be the same person that got married to your partner. And that is okay. I am gonna repeat this. If you are not the same person that married your partner, that is okay. You don't have to be, and it would be very unnatural if you were. And maybe this new you requires a new partner as well. Maybe you and your wife were very close to each other when you got married, and then all of a sudden you went into different ways. And now you're here trying to stay with your wife or with your husband for the sake of the marriage, for the sake of the family, for the, I don't know, for your kids, for the money, and it's not working. And I tell you, like, it's if it's not working and you tried everything, uh, it is better to go separate ways. And this doesn't mean that traditional marriage is not for you. Like, not being able to be with someone uh, ever since you get married and up to the end of your life doesn't say anything about you but you know that sometimes you have to put yourself up as a priority and in the end this is your life and uh, you should be living it the best you can 
and if someone is there in your way um, it, it's fair to actually say that to that person and it's fair for you guys to go separate ways number five maybe you're not good with rules like I know a lot of people and I'm one of them and uh, I don't like rules I don't like to feel trapped I don't like to feel confined and I'm never gonna function really good if I feel like I am out of choices and just having things in front of me uh, just just to have options it's so much uh, valuable for me even though I'm probably not gonna touch the options but uh, I just like to have them there and uh, having rules forced upon yourself sometimes feel it feels like you're trapped I know there's a lot of men when they're going uh, to get married they more in the sense of freedom they have and they say oh life is over now and I'm like thinking I was always pissed off and furious about these things I was like I don't want my man uh, to get married to me and feel like he now can't do anything that his life is over like I want him to marry me because you know this is a way that we're both gonna feel better and we're both gonna feel that we can become better uh, people uh, together and that there is more options rather than less so if the rules are the problem maybe traditional marriage uh, is not for you because in traditional marriage there are a lot of rules and there is a lot of what is good and what is bad so maybe try to make your own kind of marriage try to make your own rules and try to see how you can feel good in just being with someone and try to find a way for both of you to be happy personally i am not a big fan of traditional marriage i do value certain things like i got engaged because because it felt good like it felt good to kind of promise myself to a person that i love and i will probably probably get married only because I feel that that for me means something but being trapped and feeling as if I was not allowed to live my life is something that I have been dreading most of my life and that's one of the reasons why I was avoiding marriage and I have been fearing it until I have met my partner and we found a way together to make the best relationship that we can that is good for both of us and you shouldn't feel guilty if you can't follow up the rules that have been made so many centuries ago I mean Christianity is here for how many centuries um, and it has shaped the marriage and the way the marriage should look I think some things need to be revised and we need to find a new way to do things and being an individual and choosing for yourself is the best thing you can do try other things try to investigate things try to weigh them to see which side works better for you try to find a way to make all the relationships in your life fit you as the right pair of shoes not the wrong one thank you guys for watching this video I'm gonna continue with videos like this if you like it please do subscribe to my channel and like this video and I wish you all a very good day.